I don't think we had any idea of what we were going to see that night. Doctors are taught to prepare for mass casualty events. That night in Aurora in 2012 was different. I've been an ER doc now for 18 years. I have never seen wounds like that before. Nearly 10 years ago, we spoke to Dr. Camilla Sasson, who was working at the ER at University Hospital when a man killed 12 people and injured 70 others at a movie theater. Those are the ones where you realize, gosh, you know, this isn't just like a regular bullet wound. I've taken Today, care of she's talking about the AR-15 style rifle again, the type of gun used in Aurora and many other mass shootings, including a massacre at an elementary school in Texas last week. When you have a, a victim who's had, had a handgun, um, let's say, you know, you have an entry wound and an exit wound, and unless that bullet goes through a vital organ or it hits an artery, they are most likely going to survive. But with an AR-15 style weapon, Dr. Sasson says the chances of survival can be slim. These shockwaves basically just go through the entire body and destroy like different organs. And so, it, yeah, there's bone fragments, there's livers that are completely destroyed. There are spleens that are basically ruptured, which means that you bleed out and die right away. With severe injuries like this, the quick response from police allowed Dr. Sasson's team to save 22 out of 23 people. The impact is difficult to talk about, but Dr. Sasson will keep sharing. Because I think people need to understand this is not just a handgun that you're using to keep yourself safe. As a parent and a doctor, it really bothered Dr. Sasson to hear it took police more than an hour to breach the classroom door in Texas. She says when someone is shot with an AR-15 style rifle, it is critical to get them help as soon as possible because those injuries are more severe than a gunshot wound from a handgun, Kyle. As we've been talking about since we first learned the timeline of that incident, seems lessons learned in Colorado not applied there. Yeah, and there's a lot of questions surrounding that. And of course, a lot of parents, not only in Texas, but also here in Colorado that are asking, why did police not enter that classroom sooner? Kelly, thank you.